I'm Graham Turpey from McMaster University in Hamilton in Canada. I'm attending the ISTH meeting in Berlin. We have conducted a series of phase four studies looking at the use of river oxaban across the spectrum of thrombotic disorders. The first was Zamos in patients undergoing orthopedic surgery, a second in patients having treatment for atrial fibrillation, Xantos, and finally a study called Zalia looking at the use of river oxaban in the treatment of patients with acute deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. We've completed the Zalia study and demonstrated that uh, in reality, in real life, the river oxaban was as good as the standard of care in the treatment of patients with acute deep vein thrombosis, uh, latterly including patients with pulmonary embolism. Zalia Lea is a new study which we are presenting for the first time at the ISTH in Berlin. This is a complementary study to Zalia uh, where uh, we recruited patients in the Middle East, Eastern Europe, Africa and Latin America and also in Asia. Uh, these st countries were not included in the original Zalia study so we wanted to broaden our experience of real life utilization of river oxaban in this setting. These are patients with acute deep vein thrombosis and in the Zalia Lea study, unlike Zalia, uh, we included patients with isolated pulmonary embolism. When we did Zalia, pulmonary embolism had not been approved in many countries. So a slightly different population. In contrast to uh, Zalia, uh, where uh, the, the patients were imbalanced in terms of baseline demographics, in Zalia Lea they were very similar. And I suspect this is because uh, the clinicians are much more comfortable uh, with uh, the use of a new drug uh, since it had been established for some years. Uh, what we were looking at uh, was uh, all-cause mortality, recurrent venous thromboembolism uh, and bleeding. These are the three main outcomes of interest in patients being treated with anticoagulants for venous thromboembolism. Uh, I think one of the interesting observations that we made uh, in Zalia Lea in comparison to Zalia uh, was that the rates were higher for all of the outcomes that we measured. Uh, I think once uh, this is in, uh, related to the fact that the patient population in Zalia Lea uh, was at higher risk. We had more cancer patients, we had more patients with pulmonary embolism, and hence we had more uh, adverse outcomes than we saw in, in the main Zalia study. However, uh, the relative effect of river oxyban uh, was maintained in comparison to the standard of care. Uh, and while we could not do a proper propensity and adjustment because of the imbalance in the numbers, we did correct for cancer and for the type of VTE. Uh, and when we did that, we found that uh, the river oxyban tended to have reduced rates of all-cause mortality, uh, recurrent venous thromboembolism and bleeding. So what we can tell from the Zalia Lea uh, in that higher risk population that we do see the same relative effect of river oxaban and that now we can be confident that we can translate the information from the randomized clinical trials uh, to routine practice uh, across the globe.